So let's take a look at how you do a Riemann sum in Maple. So suppose you wanted to go and find the area underneath the function 1 over the square root of x between 5 and 8 using approximations. So part A says let's use a Riemann sum with 100 rectangles and the right-hand endpoint. Part B says let's do the same area, but we'll use 300 rectangles in the left-hand endpoint. Now, some of you have found out that there are Riemann sum programs in Maple that can do the job for you really quick, provided you load the right uh, packages. And that's not the attack I want to take here, because that attack doesn't help us in Calc 2. Instead, what I want you to know is that a Riemann sum is just a special kind of summation. You are adding up i going from 1 to n, heights of rectangles times basis of rectangles. My delta x is equal to the width of, of a rectangle if you're using n subdivisions, and xi, the point in the middle, is a value between the ith left endpoint and the ith right endpoint. So if you wanted to work out a Riemann sum with right hand endpoints and n rectangles, I would plug in the formula for the at right endpoint in for xi. I would plug in the formula for uh, b minus a over n for delta x, and I would get f of a plus i delta x times delta x, or f of a plus i b minus a over n times b minus a over n, summed from 1 to n. And as long as you know what the summation is, it's easy to enter this into maple. Let me do that real fast. Uh, let's work with the function. The function is input value x, output value 1 over the square root of x. And now I'm just going to copy this formula into maple. To do a summation in maple, the command is sum. The next thing you do is you tell it what you want to sum. So I want to sum f of a. Now remember, a is the lower end of the interval. And in this one, we're integrating from 5 to 8. So 5 plus i times delta x. Delta x is b minus a over n. Oops. And in this case, in part a, we're doing 100 rectangles. So a width uh, 3 is the length of the interval, chopped into 100 rectangles, times b minus a over n. So that gets me this formula right here, f of a plus i delta x times delta x. Next, I put a comma, and I'm just going to tell it i going from 1 to n. So i equals 1 dot dot n, because I'm using 100 rectangles. And that sum right there should represent it. Now if I hit enter, I'm going to see something massive here. I'm actually going to see all 100 of those little areas right there. That's probably not what you're looking for. You just probably want a numeric approximation. So in hindsight, let me go back and put evalf around this. That's the numeric approximation command. And if I run this through, then I find that a right-hand estimate with 100 rectangles gives me an area of approximately 1.18 units. So what about the second one? If I want to use 300 rectangles and a left-hand endpoint. Well, here again is the formula for a Riemann sum. A left-hand endpoint is just a plus i minus 1 delta x. So I'm going to plug a plus i minus 1 delta x in for xi, replace all of my delta x's by b minus a, and I would get this formula right here. f of a plus i minus 1 delta x delta x. So to do a, a sum with the left endpoint, Let's write the formula down. It's the summation. It's f of a plus i minus 1 times delta x. Now remember, delta x is going to be different in this case. It's going to be b minus a, 8 minus 5, divided by 300, since I'm using 300 rectangles this time. So there's the f of a plus i minus 1 delta x times delta x, b minus a over n. And now that I've entered what I'm adding, I just need to include the limits. So i goes from 1 to 300. So I will, oops, I'll close this off. And again, if I run this particular command, oops, I wrote it, I said there was a, that seemed weird. Uh, it should be i going from 1 to 300. Again, if I run this command, I'm going to see 300 of these calculations. So let me instead wrap this with evalf on both sides, and I'll get a numeric approximation. So this would be the other approximation. 1.18 looks pretty good. One useful version of writing it like this, as opposed to using other command, is if you wanted to use more rectangles, say 500 rectangles in the right-hand endpoint, all I'd have to do is change the three instances of the number of rectangles to 500. And if I rerun the command, now I have 500 rectangles and a right-hand rule. And that's the very basics of using Maple for a Riemann sum.